Good day, celebrity students, fellow Viscans. How are you doing? I can only hope that you are fine despite we are right now on pandemic. But nonetheless, learning should continue as uh, these are necessary for us to move forward. Okay, so allow me to orient you on the uh, parts of our learning management system, LMS, which is the BSU e-learning environment. Okay, so so that we can help you better in order for you to learn more and maximize the learning modality that we have, which is online modality. I'd like, I would like to walk you through to our system. Okay, I hope you are right now. Okay, I hope that you are logged in with your account in the BSU EE portal. Uh, let's explore, which is right now the available module is module 1. Okay, so click. Please take note, if you are using cell phone, there might be a little difference with what I have shown right now, which is uh, on the PC. So, explore lang what you are using if you are using your smartphone. Okay, so this is the home page. I encourage you to read this preliminary information, uh, especially the netiquette. I have a video on using email. Um, it's available in the it's available in the video celebrity SBSCA channel. I hope you can uh, browse that. And I will put the link in the description box as well. So there are some information that you need to be familiar of, especially if you are new to online learning. Okay, so let's go back to module 1. Okay, so all you have to do is that there is a left side. This is where we place the modules available. Okay, as for me, since this is a teacher account, which I shift to student um, role, so this is what you will see as a student. Okay, module one, so again, read this preliminary information. For number one, it is module one, the NSTP program. There is the overview. We have three tests. You can take tests. And then, uh, here is the lesson, this one here. And then the submission of your output are uh, found here in this assignment logo or icon. Okay, for lesson number one, this is familiarization. The goal here is familiarize the PSUs for the university's BMGO. So this is necessary because you will be part of the university as much as possible. You are confident to know what is it, what kind of university that you are right now. And what are expected of you as part of the university. Okay, so the learning task is here. Compose a song or a jingle and uh, make a presentation, representation of BMGO in the Visayas State University. I have some poll and then uh, you submit a link of your recorded output. Submission of your link if it's a recorded jingle or a uh, recorded song just like I have a thoughts here in this example here. Okay, so you can, uh, you can do a lot of things like you can upload in the Google Drive, get the link, and then paste in the Microsoft Word, add your discussion as instructed here. You discuss the rationale of your um, of your output, if it is a jingle or a song, and then add the link in your Microsoft Word, and then save your file as a PDF because this link. Uh, the the uh, output or submission required here is through PDF. So if you're using Word, Microsoft Word, or other word processor, convert or save that as 
PDF or export as PDF. Okay, take note. Again, as a recap, if you are using Microsoft Word, you have to go to File, Save or Export as PDF because the link only accepts or accepts um, PDF format. Okay. Second, you have also to fill in the student learning plan. This is necessary so we can have purpose as coordinator. I will be able to see what is it that you want in this course. And maybe it will provide us information of the rationale of our completing or enrolling the degree program right now. Maybe we will be able to help you. So the link is already is also available. And then there is a learning assessment which asks you to, to describe how does the DMGO will be able to help you in your study in the university. So that's it for the, the activities. Okay, so after reading the instruction there, so again this is the link. You have to click here for VMGO and then click this link here, add submission. Okay, um, this uh, I think you hover over this icon, it says add. So click and then upload, upload a file. So choose a file. Find where did you save the file. Uh, find the folder by which you save your output. And then, say for example, in my case, I might be uh, as an example. Okay. Open. Uh, you can choose to write your own your own title for the, the file you submitted. And then can write your, your name as an author and then okay lang, leave it as public domain and then upload file okay so this is now your submission okay it says here accepted file types okay it's only pdf as i mentioned earlier so if you are using word it will not be accepted here and then click always click the save changes And then uh, there you go, it's already submitted. Okay. What are some information here? So, makita ninyo din hey, there are information when did you submit uh, your, when did you submit no? date and time of submission. You can edit or you can remove submission. And then, Okay, so once assignment is submitted, you will not be able to take uh, any more change. This is, will be important in A. Click Submit Assignment. In here, in the above, you can either edit your submission or remove the submission. So at this time, kung wala pa ka submit assignment, this is still in a draft status. So we will not check those uh, submission on status I mean on draft status so the other it did submission you go back and attach or change uh, other file you can create a folder if you want and then balika if this file already save changes and then um, if you wish to remove then go ahead then continue and then uh, edit submission okay just like you did earlier as i demonstrated earlier add a file choose a file then locate the file locate the file then uh, up upload the file save changes okay and you think it's already final don't forget again submit assignment ok 
Okay, so it says your confirmation submission. Uh, this assignment is my own work and where I acknowledge the use of the works of others. Take note, oh, hey, hey. there is a prompt asking you that what you have submitted is your original work. Are you sure you want to submit your work for grading? You will not be able to make any more changes after clicking continue. So make sure this is already the final submission. You're sure of what you're doing. Okay, so if you do, uh, for a while, uh, it's as here required. So that means to say you have to check this. It is a prompt saying that what you have submitted, what you're about to submit, is in order your original work and it's a unique contribution as a student. Okay, then are you sure? Then click continue. Okay, as for my case, I already have submitted the file uh, with the following details. Okay. So this is how you're going to submit uh, a file in the portal. Okay, again, go to your uh, module of issue EA, log in there, then go to lesson one. This is the lesson part, the recap. There are some information that you need to read, like uh, you will be in this section, in this information, this will prompt you, bring you to the university's website. So this is where you can read more information about the university. This is the submission link, again, submission link to the uh, particular output. MGO, student learning plan, and then for assistance. Okay, do you have, should you have question, you can email or you can uh, replay this video lesson. I hope everything is fine up to this time for lesson. Should you have question, you can email me using cwts at bsu.edu.ph. See you in the next lesson.